we all miss Iron Man. So what if I told you that there was a way for Tony Stark to return to the MCU? Nope, we are not kidding. Here's how it could happen. The Secret Wars storyline is infamous in the Marvel Universe, and for something that's named Secret, there sure are a lot of people who know about it. Anyway, the classic 80s story saw a hodgepodge of heroes and villains transported to a planet known as Battleworld by a powerful cosmic baddie known as the Beyonder. His goal is to get them all to fight each other for his amusement. Man, don't you just wish that you were that powerful? Just transporting your favorite heroes and villains to some far-off planet to watch them fight each other? I'd never have to pay for another movie ticket if I had that ability. Of course, the Secret Wars storyline was revamped in 2015, and although it featured a similar plot, there were a couple of exciting additions that really made it memorable. Most importantly, instead of just dealing with heroes and villains from our Earth, the 2015 Secret Wars brought together a lot of universes from the multiverse. This meant the main universe, Earth-616, the Ultimate Marvel Universe, Earth-1610, the House of M Universe, and the Age of Apocalypse Universe were all merged together to form a new battle world. This meant duplicate characters and different versions of people were all running around in the same universe as each other, something that understandably caused major problems. We're not saying the MCU should directly adapt this new Secret Wars storyline for the next big event, but if they did, it would be an excellent way to bring back Tony Stark to the MCU. I mean, sure, all the other deceased characters could make an appearance too, but if you're asking if I'd be more excited to see Tony Stark or Quicksilver, sorry Pietro, Tony Stark takes the cake. Now, as much as Tony Stark's return would make me happier than Rocket Raccoon at a bionic arm convention, we need to discuss the pros and cons of his return. Here's the big con against him returning thanks to Secret Wars. Would RDJ reprising his iconic role again undermine or cheapen his big sacrifice at the end of Endgame? I say no. In fact, if there was another version of Tony Stark around, it would be the best of both worlds. It's not like this new version of Tony would be the same one as before, so basically, we as fans can have our cake and eat it too. Meaning, we can always remember our Iron Man's extraordinary sacrifice and still have a way to have RDJ back in our lives. And just think of the great character opportunities a different version of Iron Man could bring to the table. Maybe in this new Secret Wars event, our world is combined with a universe where not only things like the X-Men and the Fantastic Four are running around freely, but also it's Tony Stark never had a change of heart and became a good guy. I imagine there's a universe out there where Tony's still kidnapped, but before he realizes the error of his ways, he's rescued by a group like the X-Men. This would mean he remains the genius billionaire playboy, but ultimately never turns into the philanthropist our Tony Stark ultimately became. And that's a fascinating idea. What does that Tony look and act like? Like, I'm sure he'd still be a walking quip machine, but he'd be more interested in making money than helping people. And the reason this would be such a fascinating character angle would be because we could potentially see the birth of a whole new Iron Man. I think any version of Tony Stark is just waiting for some event to turn them over to the side of heroes, and merging over with our universe would give him the perfect catalyst. What would you do if you found out another version of yourself sacrificed themselves to save the entire universe? That would be pretty mind-blowing. How do you grapple with the fact that another version of you, meaning someone who was raised similarly and had most of the same experiences as you, was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to save humanity? That's a lot of pressure, and I'm sure this new version of Tony Stark would struggle with the idea of living up to our Earth's Iron Man, but over time, he would see that he's also capable of great things and begin his own journey that would lead him to joining the Avengers. And sure, maybe he's a little older now, so instead of suiting up himself, maybe a new version of Tony Stark would just create suits for other heroes and act as a mentor to the younger folks. This whole concept is exciting because we get to see Tony Stark in a way that we haven't before, and that is what the multiverse is all about. But there is also another route this storyline could go. I've talked about Tony Stark returning as a hero, but what if he returned as a villain? Could we see a major switch up happening and see Tony Stark actually be Phase 4 or Phase 5's big bad? I know it's a scary thought, but come on, it would be pretty awesome. You know, our Tony Stark has always been paranoid about big threats coming from space to wipe out Earth, so there's got to be a version of him out there in the multiverse that's scared of an invasion by other universes. This Tony Stark could be determined to wipe out all other universes in an attempt to save his own, and would present our heroes with an entirely new challenge. All the villains the Avengers have faced so far have been mostly evil to their core. 
But could you imagine the conflict of the team fighting a different version of Tony Stark? Do you give up on him and accept that he's truly evil, or do you know him well enough where you believe that you can get through to him and resolve things peacefully? The more I think about it, the more I want to see an evil version of Tony Stark. Not only would it get RDJ back in the MCU with a bigger role, but also allow the MCU to top Thanos in terms of tough villains. Anything's possible with the multiverse, baby, so why not make it happen? Do you believe Tony Stark should make a reappearance in the MCU? And should he be the Phase 4 or 5's next big bad? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content just like this. As always, thanks a whole bunch for watching.